Paul McCartney, with a little help from his friends, including a late arriving Ringo Starr, filled the Hollywood Bowl Friday night with an Earth Day concert. The show was sponsored by Concerts for the Environment. Executive Director Michael Martin was thrilled with the kind of star power he had helping the planet. McCartney, uh, both Paul and Linda are very committed environmentalists and really all the artists around the bill are, are activists, I guess you'd say, people who have sort of taken a stance in the position that they're in to do what they can to have an impact. The rock superstar himself says he was always a nature lover, but having children made him active. Obviously, the idea that they may grow up on a planet where the sea will be polluted with oil spills and the rivers won't be fit to drink um, is a very sad thing, you know. So I think all of us need now, towards the end of this century, and particularly now you've got a president who's got a uh, vice president who's interested in this kind of thing. You've got a ticket now that's interested in that. I think, I think, hopefully, you know, this is the moment. There were no lack of special moments in the show, though. Not only was McCartney's band joined on stage briefly by K.D. Lang, but the audience was also treated by other performances by the Steve Miller Band. Don Henley. Singer Kenny Loggins and 10,000 Maniacs, fronted by vocalist Natalie Merchant. The simple definition of activism is that you do something. Now a focus is coming in where people are beginning to understand that not only is there a problem, but there is also a solution, and that solution lies in each and every one of us. Rock and roll activism on the part of Paul McCartney comes in the middle of his current world concert tour. He followed up his Hollywood Bowl concert with another show in the huge Anaheim Stadium on Saturday night, and his message of environmental activism is part of every stop along the way. Dennis Michael, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood.